What's up guys? It's your boy Phenomenal again coming at you with some gameplay on Havana. I'm starting out with the F and Foul because I'm doing a contract and as you can see it has a silencer on it because it doesn't really kick as much silencer on it. And uh, I used I used to use it back in the day, but uh, right and right here I'm gonna like switch classes. Uh, well, okay, maybe not switch classes, but I think it's coming up soon. I think right there I'm switching classes. Um it's it's actually a pretty good gun. Uh, F and Foul, in my opinion, is the, probably the dark horse weapon of the assault rifles, um, just because it's really accurate. And uh, even though it does sometimes kick a lot, it's really uh, it's pretty good. At the beginning of this game, though, I will say I wasn't really focused. I can't remember something that distracted me. I was watching something on TV or something. Can't really remember. As you can see, I kind of like to stop and like not play for a little bit. And now I'm changed to the AKA 47 silencer, and uh, in a little bit I finally uh, do turn on. Oh, I think I was looking for my beast mode switch, looking to turn it on. I think I just couldn't find the beast mode switch. It was hiding somewhere. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just come up and uh, rape those two guys that just stand still there, like uh, two awesome mofo's. That guy rapes me there, and. Um, Spawning hotel is never good because that means they're on both sides, most likely. So um, you gotta watch your ass when they spawn hotel. Um, something to talk about during this gameplay uh, is one um, on this map. You kind of want to not have the top spawn, in my opinion. I I don't like the top spawn because you if you spawn top, you most likely are gonna spawn there the entire freaking game. Unless the other enemy team is too stupid and they push on your guys to spawn too hard to where you spawn differently. Which, if you're not on the other side, you should not do that. Because um, they will always spawn back there and you just keep them spawn trapped. And uh, just give them hell for the, the entire game. So, I mean, I, in my opinion, it, it's, it's funner as a team to make the other team cry to their mamas. Like the whole game. Road Rage that. And, I destroyed a certain amount of RC cars. Yay! Yeah! I want a cookie now. <laughs> so, uh... I think I earned a cookie for that play. Shooting that car. And, uh... Nick that guy. This is, I think, is funny. <laughs> so that native bounces straight up into the air right off his face. And right here, I'm gonna see that they keep coming fountains. So I just kinda chill and wait for them to walk into their own death here. I guess you could call it camping, yeah, on this part. It was a little bit of camping. But also because I knew they'd come back here because these kids were smart and they just went back to where they died. You never ever want to do that in Call of Duty. Uh, if you die, just let your team know and move on. Uh, go a different route because most likely you'll run into a guy like me who's just going to make you pay for it. And now I got an XR-71 so I know exactly where that two of them are trying to peek their little dicks around that corner. I mean, when I say little dicks, I mean little dicks. I mean smaller than Osama Bin Laden had. Because he did. <laughs> I have to say had, because he dead. D-E-D. -E dead. He's a dead motherfucker. Like these little folks. Um, yeah, they just keep coming. <laughs> they don't even know. Like, Okay, so now I'm, I'm putting the push on because I got my dogs and, you know, there's nothing higher. And I'm just going to do work with this Enfield. Oh, God. The Enfield can be a beast weapon. Just, uh, I make the mistake, though, of actually coming out to the streets. That's not a smart move. I should have took cover uh, just because I wanted that one kill. I could have gotten so many kills right there had I not pushed out. So I'm going to throw this care package down. And I didn't realize at the time they actually had a second care package uh, there, so... I'm going to get a Huey and launch that bad boy and uh, pretty much make them cry. And be like, Mommy, this guy, he's, he's putting things in our butt. That doesn't feel right, Mommy. Mommy! Making these little 12-year-olds cry. Well, that's one thing I, I guess I could talk about this game. Why in the hell do parents keep buying their kids this game? It is rated M for Mature for a reason. Um, if parents would stop buying kids that are not... 17 or above this game like I would I will praise them like I will get down I will kiss their toes and I will bow to them and be like thank you thank you for sparing us mature adults that's why it's rated M for mature uh 
the the grief of having to listen to your little fourteen year old whine, bitch, and complain is because he's getting his ass whooped. He doesn't know what to fucking do, so he he tries to curse and scream like he's a big boy. He's just like, well, you fucking stupid. I'm gonna fuck your money. And you're like, okay, well, you couldn't even get up in my mommy because you have a little limp dick and you haven't even hit, you know, puberty yet. So that's that's like. It's just, it's just really annoying. I think we could all agree, us that are actual adults can agree, that 14-year-olds and stuff like that, well, people under 17 aren't meant to play this game and shouldn't play this game. They should go back to their little Barbie horse adventures and stay there until they actually hit a mature age. Oh, uh, yeah, throwing down this care package. I kind of see a guy that's coming to hotel, so I just want to like, double-check to make sure. I'm going to throw this RC car, but it, unfortunately, it's going to get demised by a... Uh, Claymore there, and the game's about to end. So, I uh, hope you enjoy this gameplay. If there's anything you want me to talk about game wise, just let me know. Sub, like, uh, comment, or uh, lay back, uh, pop open a soda or something, and uh, watch my other videos. Nothing like a nice, good can of soda pop. Soda pop. Yeah. <laughs> until then, until next time, guys, you guys stay classy.